Hello. Here we are. Uh, I recorded this a little bit early, so I had some space to drive and not have to rush to teach for you. So this should be posted and ready for your viewing pleasure, um, if all things go well. And as we know, um, we can always just hope for that, right? So hoping for the best, um, and then just put our energy towards what it means to kind of live, being in the best, right? That was my, my first notion this morning. Um, as I approached waking, and I knew I was, and then the alarm went off, and then I was disappointed that I had to. <laughs> and, and then it was like, okay, this is, this is eminent, obviously, right? Um, I tend to be one of those people that have a hard time uh, separating myself from the sort of dream world, as you may know. And the do your best theme just kind of has been carrying on. I actually pulled a tarot card that meant the same. And then the first meditation I uh, did, it was a guided one just for five minutes. And uh, it was centered on sort of um, have a great day. And it was strictly commentary on do your best. Um, as I've carried on and I've made a couple, had a couple interactions um, here and there through my work day, um, to ask her back to a theme from the past, which was always assume that whoever it is you're interacting with is doing their best. It might be their best for that day, right? So today I'm doing the best for where I am and I'm in a pretty good state. So I'd like to see this kind of turn out as well as I imagine <laughs> in my dream, right? So as you are your best version of yourself for today and for now and for where you're sitting in whatever time of the week it is and day, Right? There is everything here that is required for you to be you, right? You have your breath, you have your heartbeat, right? You have your consciousness. And though even those basic precepts may waver, right? Our breath changes its, its pace, its tempo. Our consciousness goes in and out and sub and altered. Right? Our, our heartbeat, right, moves in sort of rapidness to, to meet our challenges and it changes and then it might even do that based on our thoughts and what's going on in our emotions. So as you see that even your heart rate is doing its best to help meet the needs, to be where they are, right, and to, to really sustain life um, in the best way possible, which is to be present, right? Be present to change, allow it, <clears throat> and meet it. Right? So that's what we'll do today. To change, to dreams, to the best, right? Hands to your heart. And bow gently to yourself, to all hearts. Oh, we'll start this thing, right? So again, we're in Friday flow. Um, so we haven't taken Friday flow in a while. Here it is, right? So um, I'm going to have a start at one end of your mat facing forward. So this is to my right, right? So it might be switched on your phone, your device, your camera, however you're watching this. Take your arms up to the sky and then sit into a chair. If you want to stand, you're going to bring your right knee up to your right elbow and then very gently you're gonna step out to your right. So now you're in a wide straddle, pull the heels in, bend the knee. All right, so we're just preparing the hips. We're actually gonna take a pretty, pretty big journey through the hips and through that, that connection. Come back up, same way we were. Sit to chair. All right, take a forward bow. Pretty nice. Drop the head, and then come all the way up to stand again. Thumbs up and then sit to chair, okay? And come up, left knee bends, lift it up, touch it to your elbow, right? I'm poorly placed on my mat. Hopefully you've got space for it. Step it out to your left. Take a wide straddle, right? So heels go in for this so the knees can go out. It's uh, creating space in your pelvis. And the best part of sort of doing your best is that in yoga, it's all modifications. We're all making changes and there's no way you can get stuck in anything because you're you're in the you have the power to change things, right? 
Come back into the right leg, left knee lifts, and then sit to chair. This one is a forward bow. Right, I'll stay at this end of the mat. You can be wherever you are. Okay, inhale to a flat back. Exhale, sit to chair. Right, inhale up, stand, and then right foot comes off the floor again. Bring it up, touch your right elbow. Right, and then you're gonna tuck this under, back behind you, and then just tap it over to your left. Right, both arms go up to the sky. Okay, come back up, right knee lifts, back up through the middle, take it to sit, and forward back. Okay, this one is a little bit different. You're gonna lean into the hands, left foot off the floor, left knee bends, and then open it out like a hatch, kick it out to the side, and then step it. So you step into kind of like this lunge towards the wide side of your mat. Okay, you're gonna bend that left knee and you're gonna sit over into that left foot. Awesome, and then when we come back up, this is our reverse, right? Straighten through the left leg, right leg lifts, then bend the knee, close the thighs, and place the foot. Okay, bend the knees into chair pose, when you come up, it's left foot off the floor, left knee lifts. Widen it out to the left, this one's going around, back behind you to step over. All right, so it's, a, it's like a janky, twisted warrior five lunge. Arms are up, All right? Left leg is behind you, you're gonna lean back into that right leg, come back up around through that left knee, and then back down to sit. Awesome, so this one's kind of a cool one. Um, let's see how this works out. Come up to stand, right foot off the floor, right knee lifts, right elbow, right knee touch. Widen the knee first, right? So we're starting to get a little bit more spaciousness in the hips. Reach the foot out, step it over. Here's your straddle squat chair. Now you're gonna shift into your right leg for a dancing warrior. So right knee bends, left leg is straight. And we're going to come back up through the same path that we came into. Straight legs, bent knee squat. Back shift into your left leg, up through the right knee. Now you're going to go around you, around, behind, under, and right knee lands to the outside of your left foot. All right? Sit for a twist. All right? So a little Matsi and Ross in a twist. A fan blowing on me. <laughs> right? Nice lift of the chest. Right. This is a weight shift back to your left foot, left knee, left heel, all the way up to stand, right knee up, and left leg lowers you down. Sit to chair, straighten to forward back. Pretty good. Okay, right here, same right leg, right knee bends, open out, kick the leg to the right, and then bend the left knee. Sink it into that little dancing warrior, little lunge pose shape. All right, you're gonna come up through straight legs. So now you're in a wide straddle, forward bow, head drops. Pretty nice. Okay, inhale to a flat back. You're gonna bend your right knee, sit into that right leg, and shift the right leg, pick up the left, bend the knee, close the leg, close the thighs, left foot to the floor, sit to chair, and come up to stand, reach up to the sky. Ooh, pretty good. All right, right here. Left knee bends, touch the elbow. Right, widen the knee, out to the left. Kick it over and step it. Here's your wide straddle, heels in, knees bend, sit. Not bad, right? Now you're gonna shift back to your, or over into Dancing Warrior, right leg straightens, right? So you're sitting into that left heel, you touch the floor or not. Looks pretty good, right? I'm starting to feel those hamstrings. If you start at the gym this week, um, you're with me. And then you're gonna come back to your little squat. We're going to the right leg, left knee lifts, get balanced. <laughs> left knee is gonna go back behind you, around to land to the right of your right heel so you can sit and take your twist, right? So. Feeling those feels of getting back to lifting heavier weights or exploring all the things that can happen in the gym, it really shows up in your yoga practice, right? So we notice that if we didn't do yoga, 
those things that you feel immediately once you start doing this and you didn't feel when you weren't doing yoga, you really notice those things that could get really bound up. Step into the right leg, left leg ooh, around, up to center, right leg lowers you, sit to chair, and straighten through the legs, forward bow. So this is a cute one right here. There's a little flat back halfway. Right knee is gonna bend, right? Open the hip and kick the right leg up to the right. This is gonna bend the knee again. You're gonna step it back and around you towards the mat behind you. This is a pretty wacky little sort of change of events. Now you're gonna bring your hands towards that left foot to the back of your mat. And here you get a three-legged dog. Okay, pull that left knee forward, tuck that left leg under, and then drop that left hip. So you're getting your first cobra in a twist, then you're coming back to a wide straddle, only seated, your legs are in a wide V, and you're reaching out through your toes. Pretty nice. This is quite a tangle, right? So we come back up, you're gonna pull that left knee in, drag it around to meet towards your right leg, so you end up in this little seat with a left knee bent, right? You're gonna shift into the left foot so that you can push the floor away and lift that right leg, right? Get it to hover. I'm virtually keeping a vertical left shin, right? So my left heel up to left knee, my butt's not on the floor so I can push into the left heel to step that right leg back. First I get to lunge, then I come up to warrior three, and then when I come up to stand, I'm gonna come up through my knee and then here's a little spin over the right shoulder, I'm back to the center. Sit to chair and touch to the floor. So what we did is just kind of um, a very sort of crafty way of, <laughs> of skipping a little vinyasa and moving through some twists and turns that keep us kind of surprised by our mobility. And, um, and that's the part of yoga that I actually am most sort of inspired by myself. So not being so traditionally stuck in um, old patterns, not that they don't still serve, but um, for me, right? So me for me, for you, left knee bends, open that left knee out to the left, kick it out, straight leg, 90 degree legs, bend the knee, and then tuck it behind you to step towards the length of the mat, right? So here's that little, this moment that we get to breathe while you're listening to me talk again is for the sort of outer capsule of the hips, which mostly translates to sort of glutes, right? Stuff that happens sort of in the body that gets really tight in the, in the butt and the hips region. Bring your hands to the back of the mat, lift that right heel, sweep it back, open hip three-legged dog, tuck it under, and then take it to the left, okay? First, the right hip drops, so you get that little cobra twist, and then you follow your inhale to both sit bones on the floor, butt to the floor, legs in 90 degrees wide, reach over the toes. Pretty awesome, right? Pretty good breath. Make sure that the breath is sort of landing where you need it to be. When you come up to your seat, it's right knee bends, and then bring it around and stamp the foot to the floor, okay? So now it's left leg straight, right knee bends, construction out my window, Lean into that right foot, butts off the floor, right? And just play with it for a moment, right? What does it take? Butt back or booty forward, right? When you come into that right leg, ooh, push into that right leg to pull that left knee in so you get almost this cannonball tuck so you can feel yourself spread out the best you can in that balancing pose, right? When you come up to stand, left knee is gonna lift. And here goes over that left shoulder again. Over the shoulder, a little twist to turn, and you get caught on the mat, and a sit to chair as you forward down. So I just kind of gave you a lots, lots and lots to work with. So we're gonna put that all together now and, um, and see how it works out. So I'll try to be um, more uh, clear. <laughs> Inhale to a flat back, exhale fold. Right, take a moment to cherish the space that you're capable of tapping into, right? Some of those sort of finer points you may know a few people in your life that are not as flexible or have access to kind of that brain-body relationship. So kind of feeling yourself feeling the way you do. Okay, 
Inhale, come all the way up. Arms reach. Left knee lifts. Tap it to your left elbow. Left knee goes wide. Kick it out. And you're going to step out. Here's your wide straddle. Right? Pull the heels in. Here's your bent knees. Awesome. Very good. And then you're going to lean um, over into your left leg to pick up your right knee. You're going to tuck that one underneath you and around so that you come knee to floor to hip to twist over that left shoulder. Okay, Matsu Indrasana chest is lifting. Come back through the middle. Matsu Indrasana is the name of that twist. I know I throw that out there a lot. Lean into that left foot and even use any of that core strength that you had worked from before up to lift to bring that right knee up. This one's got a little crossover top of left leg and a little sort of little eagle sit squat chair with wrapped Garudasana legs. Okay, and your inhale come up, right knee goes right again. You're gonna drop over into the right leg and here is where your dancing warrior is. Okay, and what did we do with that before? Now let's turn over the right shoulder. You have a lunge pose, right leg goes back, Open hip, three-legged dog. Super cute. Pull the knee forward. Tuck it in, underneath and to the left, and left arm picks up, full in warrior first. Right, so it happens before we get to the floor. Left hand down, right hip down, center the shoulders. You're gonna bow the elbows so you get this kind of grounded version of a chaturanga. Then you pick it up. Take your core strength up around, out through the arms, and over the legs, out to the toes. Last part of that one, right? Right knee pulls in. Pull it around to your left. Here you are on your right foot. There you are in the left leg. Lean forward into the foot. Press down to the right leg. Pull the left knee in. All right, flamingo pose. Out to warrior three. And then all the way up to stand. You're good. Reach up to the sky, a little squeeze of the glutes, nice open front, and then fold. Ooh. Here we are. First side complete. Okay, inhale to a flat back. Exhale, sit to chair. And when you come up to stand, right foot off the floor, and knee lifts. You're gonna widen it, and we come out to the center. Right? Take that right knee, open wide to the right, kick it out and drop it over. Here's your heels in, here's your straddle squat. You're gonna lean over to the right foot now, right foot, left knee lifts, cross it over, and then wrap it. Right, sit here is first your chair pose, and then left knee lifts up, open, then behind you to land, right? So it'll go toe, knee, butt, then twist, Okay, nice turn of the shoulders. Still more to do. Back into the right foot, up into the right foot, back knee lifts, so you can kick it out and step it over into your dancing warrior. Okay, you're gonna go up and around over your left shoulder, and here's your lunge twist. The left leg, your lunge, low lunge, left leg back, you like a dog, hip open. I thoroughly enjoy being there for like a little moment of play. Left knee tucks in to your face, then underneath to the right. Right heel goes to the left, and then right arm picks up. Here's your fallen warrior. All the proper tucks, right? Tuck the shoulders down away from your ears, right? So that should kind of engage some little scapular strength. And then the chest lifts to keep them plugged in. Right, and nice drop, first right hand to the mat, then left hip, ooh, okie dokie. And then over your shoulder, right, arms are still flying, floating, right? So all the precision that we practiced in the last few days, we've gotten a good opportunity to kind of apply it so it hasn't just shown up once in our class and then we've lost it. So sorry for that drilling sound. 
um, working from home, you just can't avoid it, right? <laughs> and they're not avoiding me either. Left foot stays down, lean into that right leg. You shift into that left leg, right leg is hovering. Pull that knee up, here's your flamingo pose. Then spread it out, take flight to your warrior three. Come up to stand, both feet meet, arms to the sky. And then sit to your chair. Nice, deep seat, right? So if you take your seat a little bit deeper, make sure your feet are parallel, right? You can almost feel the blood circulating and spreading across that span of strength in your glutes and your hips. Because you have all of those places that really require us um, to kind of, to pay attention to those pathways, right? So the flowing energy that travels, right? Our most sacred, stable places, our hips, and the rest it sort of follows along, right? So get stable in your pelvis, get stable in your mind. <laughs> Maybe that's true, right? All right, come up to a flat back. Exhale, sit to chair. We're gonna take a little twist in chair. So first left elbow outside of the right knee. And right arm goes up to the sky. Okay, right arm is gonna pull you up to stand, left knee lifts. Here's where we do our little, sort of our quarter turn on the right heel to come over the left shoulder. Left knee widens out to left, and you're dropping it over. Here's your little, little plie squat. Now you're gonna shift to your left leg again, right knee lifts, wrap it over the top. Now you're sitting to a chair with wrapped legs. Ooh, I'm getting into this, right? And I'm also starting to notice, right? We've done enough of these little quirky turns that uh, this is kind of creating sort of a a creative space inside, right knee widens as you come to stand. Wrap it around underneath you. Sit one more time to your seat, over that left shoulder, nice turn. All right, so this is number three on this twist turn. This should be pretty special. You might even find it a little easier to shift into that left leg to come up to stand through the right, right? You come up to stand with the right leg out, step it over, right? and then fall into that right knee. This one goes even further. Keep going into the heel. Touch the floor if you need it. Don't if you don't. Take your butt to the floor. Take your right knee in, and then turn over your left leg. Ooh, all right. Nice, you're gonna come back up through your right knee, right foot up. You're gonna lean into that right foot, come up and there's your dancing warrior then over to your lunge to the right foot. Right leg sweeps back and open. Left heel turns left, and right foot steps over for a wild thing. Looks good. Okay, right hand comes back to the mat. Right leg, right foot steps forward, and then left knee goes to the floor. Here's our Anjane Asana we've been working this week. Chest open, right? Nice wide collarbones. Come forward, up to warrior three, and then all the way up to stand. Feet meet, sit to chair, and then forward bow, head drops. All right, so take a couple breaths here in your forward bow. I'm gonna just close this window even though we have very little bit of time left. Oh, that makes a difference. Um, Let's just say that drill is doing its best to get in the way of our practice. <laughs> okay, inhale all the way up to stand, arms reach up. Last side, sit to chair. Take your twist. Okay, left arm goes up. Awesome. When you come up to stand, right knee comes up, you come to center and we're quarter turning over your right shoulder, facing to your right. Right knee widens out to the side, and you're gonna step over into that little straddle squat. Right, you're gonna lean into the right foot now. Left knee lifts, cross over, top of right leg, sit to your Garudasana chair. As you can see the back of me, but you're not really looking anyway. You know what you're doing. You're feeling you not really needing to see me. All right, that's about three breaths there, right? Left knee comes up to the left, from behind, around, to land, foot, knee, butt, sit for that deep twist. Wow! 
pretty good adjustments go on in these shapes. Come back to the right foot, lean into it, come up around for the left leg, kick it over, step it, and this one is a dancing warrior to sit and sit, and then nice streamlined sit bones, right butt to the floor, left knee tucks in, so my bent left knee is towards my right knee, so you get this cute little forward bound into that straight right leg. Right, every breath, actually the inhales kind of give you this heaviness in your upper body, right? Expanded and full and, and that heaviness is, is abundance. It's not something that's weighing you down and burdening you. It's actually to benefit you. So when you exhale, right, you have a deeper sense of the bones as you fold into that leg and that feels good and it feels right, okay? So it is. Come back up. <laughs> Left knee, bent knee comes back up so you can turn over your left shoulder. You shift into the left leg. You wrap this around to your low lunge and then you're gonna sweep that back to your three-legged dog. Open hip, right? That open hip turns to step and we go wild thing, right? So nice to reach out through the toes. So nice to see the hand, the fingers, the sky. Left hand comes back to the mat, left leg up. Left foot's gonna step forward, and right knee goes to the floor. So right here, we have an up or an Andreasana, lean back into the toes, up through the chest. Okay, come forward into that left foot, come up to warrior three, and then all the way, feet to the floor, arms to the sky, and a sweet bow to yourself, to your practice, to your best, Wrap your arms around your legs. Hold onto the legs and close your eyes, taking breath together. Hold the legs like you hold love. Hold the legs like you want to receive it, like you give it, what you mean when you're having that interaction, what it feels like to honor also the best practice that is possible inside of you. So, right, the fidelity of both faith in your practice as well as taking care of yourself, so what you can do with that. All the words. Okay, inhale all the way up, hands together at your heart. Let's take one more seat together to close, to come to the place where you're nice and tall. Your hands can be rested on your knees or at your heart, and eyes are softly closed. There's a brightness, not just that you see and feel light from behind the shade of your lids, but the brightness that here is kind of come from our stir, our asana, our chi, our energy. What I would like to also describe the sensation that we're having right now is a feeling of best, right? There's enthusiasm, there's, there's encouragement, right? There's giddiness. There's, there's this place where we're, we're so drawn into the excitement that it feels like our insides are being tickled. Think of that energy like sparkles that slightly just kind of peak and perk our receptors that sort of wiggle you into the energy that you feel for being in your body, right? And for enjoying that you're in your body stir to the heart, to the breath, to you, to the new moon, to all the things or the processes that come together to bring us into balance, including you, right? Hands to your heart, now gently to that space, to all spaces of the heart. Release your hands and open your eyes. Um, stay cute, talk soon, happy holidays for sure, um, and I'll see you tomorrow at noon. Right? Zoom, info and bio, on Instagram. Mikey Yoga, out.